everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here my name is zoe i do a lot of beauty content on this channel with a few hauls and vlogs scattered about please excuse the wardrobe that is broken and my hair and i'm not wearing any makeup um i haven't worn makeup for quite a a couple of weeks now actually so um it's quite nice <laughs> um today's video is a shop my stash um if you're new here it's every single month i pick out products that i want to use for that upcoming month i do have a project pan going as well so a lot of the time the products i pick out for my makeup bag don't get used just because i'm trying to make progress with my um my project pan but i also have a lot of the same products every single month which i will go over at the end so if you don't want to see that just skip that one that part um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give if you do give it a thumbs up um i do these videos every single month and i have got playlists i have got a playlist linked in the description but i also have other playlists from other years as well because this is like the third year of me doing this now is it I think I mean I haven't been consistent for the last two years this year I have been a bit more but yeah <laughs> um so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see let's just get on with the video okay like always I am going to put everything that I pick out on the top of the drawers um and these drawers as always are from Wayfair oh my god I forgot <laughs> So I'm going to pick out stuff and like every time I have already got things that are I rotate all the time. I've got a project 10 pan going and I also have products that I don't switch out until I finish them up because I'm trying to use my products up. So we shall I shall show you those in a little while. So for primer, I think hmm Let's have a little look see. You know what? I haven't used this primer in a while. This is the Huda Beauty. I think this is the, yeah, the water jelly primer if it wants to focus. Um, I've not used this too much to be honest with you, but I actually do enjoy it and it's you know, it's hydrating and everything. Um, I think, I think that would be the only primer that I kind of want maybe. Actually, I might put the e.l.f. matte putty primer in there um, just for a matte and a like a dewy one matte and dewy matte and hydrating so my next draw is foundation i think i'm gonna actually pull this in i know i tested this a little like a couple of months ago this is the kvd good apple um full coverage serum foundation mine's in the shade 008 light um this was sitting in my new in drawer and i just forgot that i had it i know i literally only just did a video like a few months ago when it came out but I genuinely forgot all my thoughts on it. Um, and then I think, I think full coverage, hmm. I normally do, so if, you don't, if you're new, I usually do a full coverage and a lighter coverage. That's sort of like a full coverage. Um, you know what, I haven't used this in ages. Oh, you know what? Oh, I was just thinking it's a tie up between these two. You know what, I think I'm gonna save the L'Oreal True Match nude for next month because it'll be a bit warmer next month with it being June. Um, so I'm actually gonna pull in the Urban Decay Naked, Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. Um, more of like a lightweight um, like coverage, like a medium coverage. And I get mine in the shade 20NN if it wants to focus, probably not. Nope, <laughs> never does. And then for concealer, um, let me just have a little look. I think I might pull in the NYX Bear With Me concealer again. Although actually, actually, I'm going to pull in the NARS Longwear Radiant Creamy Concealer. The Longwear Radiant Creamy Concealer, is that what it's called? Don't know, it just says um, <laughs> Radiant Creamy Concealer on the side of it. If it wants to focus. No, it's focusing on the elf and everything behind it, but... This is in the shade Light One Chantilly. Um, and I think, hmm. I think I, I think that might be, yeah, that might be it. I think I'm only gonna pull in this concealer, maybe. 
I don't really use concealer that much these days, to be honest. Oh, actually, I'm going to pull in this for like um, a more high coverage. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, what are these called? Magic Touch Concealers. Mine's in the shade 2, just for a bit more coverage. Um, I love that I've picked out a lot of high end so far, but that's just how I roll, <laughs> apparently, this, this month. I'm a high end, in a high end mood. I'm still trying to use up mascaras, um, but I think I might pull in... Dropping everything as usual. Um, I think I might pull in this one by Swede. It's um, their Cloud Mascara. It's in the shade Black. This was really good when I tested it. I'm currently trying to use up a couple of um, mascaras. But I think one of them is dried up now. So we can pull that one in. I know it's open. Um, I've got a couple of unopened ones in here. But most of them are um, open. Okay. So next draw down is powders and um brows and like things like that um so i already have things open for brows so i'm gonna keep that as it is and i'm trying to use up my loose powders so currently it's maybelline fit me and then for powder foundation this month um i think i'm gonna pull in the Too faced one i haven't used this in a while if it wants to focus it probably will not knowing my luck but this is the Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder in the shade Snow. Doesn't want to focus, absolutely not. <laughs> and I'm actually, I'm still trying to use up pressed powders, but I'm actually going to pull in a pressed face powder because I'm trying to um, just get through them. So I think I'm actually going to try this NYX one. It's the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Powder in the shade Fair. Yeah. It's just not focusing. Nothing is focusing today. I don't know. Well, it's focusing. There we go. That's better. <laughs> okay. So, next draw down is bronzer, blush, and high. Um, not bronzer, blush, and highlight. Just bronzer. Sadly, I have broken my L'Oreal Infallible um, fat, um, bronzer, and I need to replace it. Um, it's just in there to remind me. Cream bronzer. I have a shot my stash. Not a shot my stash. Um. What is the word? A project pan going. But I'm also going to pick out this Fenty one. This is the Fenty um, Soft Amber um, Matchsticks. I really, really like that. And then for powder. Um, hmm. I'm just trying to think of one that will be a nice addition. Because I think that all of my cream bronzers are a bit um, light. You know what, I haven't used this in ages. This is the NARS um, Matte Bronzer in the shade Velata. It's actually a really lovely shade. Um, I just never use it. I need to use it more. I bought it for a reason. And the next draw down is the final draw. It is bronzer and... Not bronzer. Oh my god, I'm mixing my words. Is blush and highlight. So let's pick out a cream blush. We have got one now, Project Pan. But let's pick out another one. They're all like everywhere. I think I want to pick out. Um, which one is it? It's not that one. It's one of these two. I think it's um, papaya pudding. It's the more pinky version of the ter the toasted terracotta. But it's just a very lovely shade. I am, I'm going to go pick out one more cream, I think, if I can. Without everyone screaming at me. Why am I dropping everything today? Ugh. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna pick out this Tower 28 brush actually. So this is a Tower 28 um, Beach Please um, blushes in Rush Hour. And then for a powder, I need maybe a couple of powders. I don't know. Oh, this MUA Matte Blush Powder, I think would go really well. It's the shade Misty Rose. I think that'll go really well with the Tower 28. What do you think? They're kind of the same. Um, and then I think one more. Um, maybe one that might not go with anything. I mean, this is more of like a, a muted, like, kind of peachy colour, I guess. What's this one? Um, no... I think, oh, you know what? I haven't had, I haven't used this in ages. This is the Hourglass Sublime Flush blush. Um, 
but I don't think it would go with anything, but I kind of want to pick that out at some point. I think that might be it, because I can use this blush with this. Um, and I've also then got the Hourglass palette in my um, collection. Collection? What's the word? In my makeup bag that doesn't leave, so. <laughs> and then a highlighter. Um, oh, actually, what's this, Vive? No, that's Pesta. Um, ooh. What highlighter? I've only got a few these days. I've actually decluttered so many. Um, hmm. I use that in a while. Oh no, pretty. Um, I'm gonna pull in the melt um highlighter, the digital dust highlighter in the shade Stargazer. It doesn't want to focus. <laughs> Nothing ever focuses sometimes. But it looks like that is pretty. There you go. So yeah, that is all of the new bits that I'm pulling in. Um, I'm just going to go through my bag and I'll show you what else I keep in. Um, so yeah. Okay, so I will start off with the palettes that I've chosen. If you guys are new here, I um, I tend to choose one neutral palette, like big palette, a smaller mini palette, and then like a more colourful palette. My nude big palette of choice is Soft Glam from ABH. I don't remember the last time I used this. Um, and I've had this for many moons. Let's just say that. Um, this is one of my, f the f this was actually the first high-end palette I bought with my, like, my own money and everything. Um, I have used this quite a lot. I mean, does it look quite used? There's quite a few dents. Um, there's a big dent in Sienna. And there's definitely dents in other places like burnt orange and things like that. Um, I do really enjoy this palette. It has neutrals. It has sort of like, um, it has a black and it has like a cream. Um, and it also has like a very lovely shade called Dusty Rose, which is, gin is a dusty rose. It's lovely. Um, and I definitely need to use this palette more. Um, and maybe think about decluttering it at some point, maybe at the end of the year, because it's just very old. Um, but yeah, that's my nude big palette of choice. My little palette of choice is a Charlotte Tilbury one. I don't use Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadows that much. I have got a few little palettes and that's it. Um, this is the um, Easy Eye palette for the Charlotte Darling look. It's got the daytime, oh god, I'm dropping it. The day side and the night side, I mean, I would use all of it together. I mean, just look at it, it's a neutral palette. Um, yeah it's it's a palette i i do use and then i actually have never used this i picked this up from tk maxx um i think last year and i still haven't used it i bought it with the intention of of course using it it's a palette i have had my eye on for a little while but i got it like 10 pound off or something this is a huda beauty coral obsessions it has only two shimmery shades and the rest are matte but I mean, this is a very, very much this time of year palette. I mean, it's May. We're very, very into spring now. It's starting to lighten up and get lighter. I mean, it's, it's bright, it's sunny today. It's about 18 degrees. Um, I need to start using this. It's a kind of summery-ish palette. So this is a, my palette, my colorful palette of choice. Okay, I'm gonna speed fire, speed fire through um, the other regular products I have. If you're not new here, um, I usually have the same products that rotate until I use them up. Um, a lot of the time it's setting sprays, which I've got here. There's powders, um, eyebrow products, things like that. One of the things that hasn't left my, collect, my makeup bag since I got it is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Butterfly Edition. I actually haven't used, I didn't use this at all last month. I've been trying to use my Project Pan um, products up. Um, I actually need to dive into this a bit more. I need to wear makeup a bit more this month, I think. I think that should be a goal, <laughs> a definite goal. Like I just said, setting spray is something that I'm trying to use up. So I have got, uh, I use a, um, like a, a refresher spray after powder. And I also use a setting spray as well. So my refresher spray is an old, an old product that I actually never used until I opened it. Um, this is the Primark Prep and Perfect 
Prime and Infuse Instant Hydration Priming Spray infused with Hyaluronic Acid and Watermelon Extract. It's so nice. You have to twist it to unlock it, otherwise it's locked. But it's very nice. It smells gorgeous. Um, and then I also have the e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. Again, I really like this. I don't know what my next one is once this is finished, but this is like, I th I've got, it's up to here, like, it's going to be used up at some point soon. A product that always stays in my makeup bag is the, oh, I was about to say Revolution, it's not, um, it's the Beauty Bay Eye Base in the shade 2. I use this every single time I do my makeup, whether I use eyeshadow or not. This is just a really, really good um, product. I've actually got, a, is that a crack in the lid? Is that a crack in the lid? I think I've cracked it. Oops. I've somehow got a split, a couple of splits in the lid of this. Um, oopsie. But this is, I don't know how I've still not used this up yet. It's still got quite a lot in it. It's it's a good product, all right? For eyebrows, I use the same three products every single time. And until I use them up and I replace them, I'm not replacing them because they're just eyebrow products are eyebrow products a lot of the time but i do really enjoy these so we've got the nyx micro brow pencil in the shade ash brown um it's a good eyebrow pencil i think i'd choose other options after um just because this is nine pounds and a lot of other drugstore ones are cheaper than that so and they all work the same i then have the nyx thick it stick it thickening brown mascara in the shade brunette i've gone with this is my third one of these i've had one of these for each hair color i've had since it's come out um, and brunette is a really nice shade at the moment with my hair being you know brunette um, the only thing I don't like is how thick the wand is other than that absolutely love it it's one of my favorite brow gels and it's affordable it's like well, it's about 11 pounds it's not like the cheapest but it lasts a long time you don't need a lot <laughs> and the last um, eyebrow product is the benefit 24 hour brow setter um, and I, I I don't mind it. It's not my favourite. It used to be my favourite. And I used to repurchase it all the time. But it's just expensive. Um, I need to try and find cheaper alternatives. But it's a very lovely product. That's for sure. I know I already picked out another mascara to go into the bag. But I have currently got four on the go. Yeah, I know. Um, one is I always keep a waterproof mascara in my makeup bag because you never know when you need one. Uh, my current one of choice is Maybelline Lash Sensational. I absolutely love this. You know, I've still not tried the original one without the, like the non-waterproof one, and I think I need to try it. This is genuinely one of my favourite, favourite mascaras I've ever bought, and I have repurchased it since I was 15. So I'm now 21, so six years it's one of the best <laughs> and then i have a high-end mascara a low end and then a mini the mini is the it cosmetic superhero mascara i need to try and use this up a bit more because i just i had a, i have another one of these as well that i need to use up and a few other minis that i've gotten um it's a nice mascara it's not my favorite but it's all right and then these two <laughs> i really like this one it's the milani anti-gravity highly highly rated anti-gravity mascara it's really nice um, I think mine's actually on its last legs, maybe, but it's getting there. It's really nice though, it's, it, but it's not as good as I remember it being the first time I used it, which makes me think it's drying up. The same as the Benefit Bad Girl Bang, I think this is actually dried, pretty much, like nearly there, because it's starting to like lose its volume, and that's one of the things I love about this, but I'm trying to use those up, alright? So I mentioned that I'm trying to use up my powders. Um, I'm still trying to use up these two. One of them is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And I only use this on, on my eyes and under my eyes. So like it's a bit hot, like it's it takes a while to use them up. Mine's the share, share one, shade one fair. Um, I have 
got on a very hefty pan on it though but i need to start using this all over the rest of my face especially if i'm only filming a video and that's it and i'm taking it straight off again yeah and then we have the maybelline fit me loose powder i don't think you can get this anymore i think this is discontinued which makes me sad um i got mine the shade 05 fair i got it on amazon it was a us exclusive um well, we definitely couldn't get it over here in the UK. Uh, this is pretty much done. So the next powder I'll be using up is the Fenty one, which I've got. But yeah, I think I'm pretty much... I think I'm here. It's sad, but... It's a nice it's a nice loose powder, but... I'm just very sad it's getting discontinued. Um, yeah. I would love to have repurchased it, but can't anymore. Um, and then I also have the NARS uh, Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Light 1 Chantilly spot concealing that's all i use this for spot concealing under makeup that is that is it that is it i'm trying to use this up this is the vive skin nova skin perfecting radiance primer and hydrator um i did buy the actual mini version of this rather than this which is a dulux sample size i've used this a couple of times actually i really like this um, maybe once I've finished the mini and I finish my, um, what's it called? My Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Maybe I might purchase the big size because it's actually really nice. Um, it's like an all over like glow sort of a product. It's quite nice. Um, and like it says, it's hydrating as well. So it's quite nice. It's just nice. You know, it's nice, nice, nice. Everything's nice. <laughs> A couple of eyeshadow products in my bag. I keep this e.l.f. Um, like liquid, it's liquid glitter eyeshadow in the shade Bling Bling, just in case I want it, you know. Because if it's in my makeup, if it's in my like my eyeshadow um, box under my bed, I will not remember that I have this. So we've got that. And the same with this Nars um, Eyes Old Duo. Oh, I just put my finger in that because I really like it, and I do. I, if I'm just using bronzer on my eyelid, I might I in my crease i might just put one of these on the lid um, or both and i really like both of them so there's that this product was in my project 10 pan and i'm just trying to see how much um use out of it i can get before it dries up and maybe i can try and use it up this is the fenty cream bronzer in the shade butter biscuit it's a really really lovely bronzer and i have hit pan on it which was my project 10 pan goal um but i'm gonna try and see if i can use this up some like over the course of the year um maybe like every few times use this or something i am still trying to use my project pan bronzer and i think i did pull out one for this month as well but just to see you know i could use this and the other fenty in conjunction and just see how quick i can use it up as well A few lipsticks, um, huh, I say a few, there's four. Um, I do have a lipstick drawer, which I don't pull out of in my project pan. I just go to it if I want something. Um, I have got, I've got a Fenty lip gloss in my project pan, but then I've also got these. So this, I've got the, that was the NYX um, butter lip gloss or whatever they're called in the shade butterscotch i think i don't know i can't remember but yeah i've got that we've got the revolution cream lipstick in the shade val i still need to try that um we have got a mini of the kvd everlasting liquid lipsticks in the shade queen of poisons so we've got that um we have this i love this it's one of my favorite products lip products at the moment it's the um maybelline superstay lip um, vinyl ink vinyl i've got mine in the shade punchy so nice and it lasts a long time and we have the huda beauty um these are the cream lipsticks in the shade hustler i actually haven't used this yet i still need to um cream lips i prefer matte over cream so i mean yeah and the final thing is some eye pencils and a liquid eyeliner so I have the Fenty liquid liner, which is the fly liner in the shade because I'm black. And I also have her um, fly pencil in because I'm black. Um, these always stay in my makeup bag. Not that I ever really do liquid liner, but this is the one I really love. So 
might encourage me. I've got a couple of then like, they're kind of like smudgy eyeliners, but they're also eyeliners. Um, these are from Vive. I've got the eye ones in the shade Raven and Camel. I don't use these on my eyelids just because I am not that professional, but I use my waterline and tight line. Um, Camel is like, it's not nude, but it's not brown. It's like in the middle. It's a very lovely color. And then Raven, you can really smudge out if you're doing eyeliner, so like liquid liner. And I also have a brown and a nude. Both are from Colourpop. Um, the brown has all rubbed off, but I think this is from the Royal Beauty Christie collection. It is one of my favourite, um, um, it's one of my favourite, like, cream eyeliner, cream eyeliner? Pencil eyeliner formulas. Um, so I've got that, and I've also got, so this is the BFF cream liner in the shade Honey Dude. Um, it's just a nude, you can't really see it. But yeah, that is everything apart from my um, Coco Cosmetics sponge that needs a wash and my brushes and my eyelash curler. That is everything that lives in my makeup bag and that my shop my stash products for the month. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, if you did, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. So bye guys.